giving me a hard time, but yeah, the goulash. All right. Welcome in, everyone. Let me turn up the music. Oh, I didn't put Tuesday night supper club in the tag. My bad. Supper club. Yeah, sure, Robert. Robert, you got sure. For me? Nope. Let's go Welcome in, everybody. And then I didn't update the command with your guys' stuff, too. One second. I just realized I forgot to do my job. Okay, Robert and Funk, what are y'all making today? I'm making shumai, and Robert is making uh, pasta Yeah, pasta All right. So, soccer club. Funk is making shumai, and Robert is making what kind of um, dumplings? Or pork pork, pork, pork He's making uh, pork and shrimp pot stickers. So is your seasoning different than my seasoning, so they'll taste different, Robert? What's in your seasoning? Uh, white pepper, oyster sauce, sesame oil, soy sauce, some mushrooms, carrots, and chestnuts. Okay, I think we're good now. Same. Oh, I have chestnuts. But Am I the only one who doesn't like water chestnuts? I'm not like I'm not against them, but I'm not super for them either. So for this uh, recipe, doesn't need water chestnuts. Should I just pop it out? Up to you. No, also, you don't really taste it in the shoe You, you don't you taste it. You need a steamer it. and water just going. Like, you need steamer and water going, please. Steamer and water. Her. Do you want me to get that for you guys? The bamboo steamer. We're still figuring out what we're doing. Welcome in, everyone. Hi, Aspie. Happy Tuesday. Uh, sorry, Seth. That took me a second to update the commands, but they should be updated now. Assy super excited. Yes, best trip. Freaking love Sesame Street. Jace is really into Sesame Street. Um, I'm trying to get him into watching Foodie Truck, which is a Sesame Street themed show where I think it's Cookie Monster and another, is it Gomer or G Gonger or something like that? They have a, a food truck and they learn the alphabet through food in the food truck. It's pretty funny. So yeah, we, we might do a foodie truck theme eventually, but we're doing uh, Cookie Monster today, hence why I stole Madeline's shirt. It is National Cookie Monster Day, or just Cookie Monster Day, so that's what we're doing. Barry, yes, I'm still calling it goulash. We were supposed to make goulash earlier in the halloween -y themes that we had going on, but we never got around to it. I still want to cook it for the shelter, so we're going to make, what are we calling it? Oscar the Grouch Goulash, and I am very grouchy about the goulash, which I will explain later. Amazon and I got in a little fight today. These are our guests. Welcome in, Fung. Hi. And Robert. Hello. They are our Tuesday crew. Crystal's at an HOA meeting today, and I think Jenny uh, wasn't feeling well, or her puppy wasn't feeling well, so she hung back. But hopefully they'll be here next week. And then Kim and Mike are out for the rest of the year because uh, Kim's got crazy work schedule. Aspie says hi to the Supper Cup fam. Hello. Hello. Mr. Ports is here too. Hello, Big Teddy. How are you? Welcome in. Hope all is going well with you. Uh, Big Bird got his own movie before Elmo. Did Did Big Bird get his own movie before Elmo? Really? When did what movie was Elmo's movie? Well, Elmo has his own show. Elmo's, Elmo's world. world. I don't know if there's like a Big Bird's world. I don't think so. But yeah, that is crazy. And of course, uh, Barry has a Big Bird emote. Good morning, Clab. What's up? Oh my God, you're having, so Clab is, uh, God, remind me, are you in Norway, Clab? Is having reindeer tortilla for breakfast. I think Whoa. that's exploding. Don't explode, don't explode. I think it's exploding. What's it exploding? Was it butter? Please tell me you exploded butter. No. Was it butter? No. Oh, bummer, I was really excited. <laughs> then they can make fun of someone else. What a coincidence, my dad made goulash yesterday. I've never made goulash before. I don't even know the definition of goulash, but something like that. Clab's in Sweden. I should remember that because my husband's Swedish. Also, we will be celebrating a fellow Swede tomorrow as our theme. I'll let you guess who's, we're, who, which Swede we're celebrating tomorrow. Um, sounds tasty, Clab. I would be so good. Or I'd be so happy with some reindeer. We're actually going to try to order some reindeer around Christmas time. Okay. But I don't know if I can get that. Also, who should we put on the vet hood shout out today? Cookie. Okay. So I kind of want to do, I want to do someone who has uh, Sesame Street emotes, but the only person I know has 
Muppets remotes, but we can do Muppets. So we're going to do Chef Steve 330. Chef Steve. I did not plan anything today. More okay. something? Okay. More oyster sauce? More sesame oil? Okay. I think yours is going to be stronger than what you put. You sure it's good? Yeah. Robert's all about the intense flavors. Because I have more Wait, pork. What were you? You're not eating the raw pork. What were you sampling? Oh, we microwave, microwave it. it. Uh, <laughs> I was like, I'm watching you mix raw pork and be like, Robert, does it taste good? Does it need anything? I was like, wait, what? I know Chong wanted to do that, but I was so confused nonetheless. That's what you were exploding. Ah! In the microwave. In the microwave. Like filling. Oh, I just ruined Chef Steve's name. We just need to mix the Okay. So the reason why the, what do we call the Oscar the Grouch Goulash is going to be extra grouchy today is... My groceries never came today. We spent a whole long ass time the other day bitching about how terrible Fred Meyer pickup was. Uh, no, not pickup, how, how terrible, oh, pickup and also Fred Meyer delivery. I was bitching for like an hour with chat. We were talking about Instacart, all the different grocery stores. We went on this long rabbit hole about the woes of Fred Meyer and all that stuff and their food services with like uh, delivery and pickup. And I was like, that's it. I'm switching back to Amazon Fresh and I'm getting my groceries delivered through them again. Yeah, so it was supposed to be delivered today sometime between three and five. It was all the groceries I needed for today's stream. Never came, never showed up. So I'm a little grouchy. We're still going to make uh, everything that was on the menu, but we're going to have to do some tweaking of the recipes. We're gonna go rogue right off the bat, um, because I don't have all the ingredients I need, but I can do pretty decent substitutions. And then, um, yeah, we're also gonna make some Japanese style curry at the last minute. Because, yeah, what's up? What curry are you wanna try? Okay, I'll try that entirely. So, of course, it's saying, I'm, uh, the part I'm a bit conflicted about is the fact that my dad decided to use an entire filet of beef to make goulash. Whoa. Like, full, you mean, what's a filet of beef? Like a, like a filet mignon? Are you talking about an entire filet mignon? How big is a filet? How big is a filet? I've never, okay, so I know what a filet mignon is, but what's a filet of beef? I think, I, I only understand the terms that my butcher uses, but what is that? Also, because I'm a little cranky, because Amazon Dong Dong Fraggle rocked me over. Um, I think if Robert would like to join me, we should have a little bit of rum. Just a little bit. Yeah. A little bit of rum. I love rum. I know. That's why, that's why I picked rum instead of bourbon, because I was like, he won't say no to rum. What kind of rum do you want? Do you want me to get some of the nice stuff? I'll say no to bourbon either. Okay, well, I'll let yeah, you pick. Yeah. What, what kind of stuff do you have? Well, we can, I can get the stuff from the downstairs, or we can get, so this one makes me think of autumn. Autumn. Nice. Or we could get that one that I can't reach that you really like, the really expensive one. We can do that one. Yeah. Then we also, you don't like the barbon court, right? Because that no. one tastes like rat. I don't. I forgot. Not to overmix the pork, right, Robert? Is that what you told me not to do? Yeah. Over mix the pork ones. Am I over mixing? Stop mixing. Stop mixing. So, so we have door leaves. You just have your carrots. I have carrots going on. Oh, how about the green onions? I don't have them. The, the rest is for you. Did you add any? No. Nope. How do you have the attack on Kraken? Seattle Kraken. Kraken. The Kraken? Attack on Seattle Kraken. No, I haven't. The limited edition. No, I haven't. That's fancy. I can't reach. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. All right. These are Robert's choices. What should he drink? What should Robert drink? Pick one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So we have the Attack on Seattle Kraken, which he doesn't actually need to sip that. I just want him to take like a spoonful of it so he can taste the flavor. We have Dora Lee's. Is it Sesame Street's birthday? E Composer, welcome in. No, it is Cookie Monster Day. I don't know why, but Cookie Monster has his own. Didn't, it's not Cookie Monster's birthday necessarily, just Cookie Monster Day. So I stole my husband's shirt and we're making little Cookie Monster coconut macaroons later. But yeah, all right, these are what we got. Attack on Kraken, 
don't you don't actually need to sip that, but um, Dorley's Woodford Reserve Double Oak. So Tina got this for me when she or got Malin this when she was here. Um, this is the one my husband got from his coworkers. Double cast matured Arbor single malt scotch. Or if we're sticking with the rum, we got four square spice rum, which I really like. I don't know if other people like it, but I like it. Mr. Ports is like for sure the Attack on Kraken. Well, he needs to try the Attack on Kraken because he's a Seattleite. Thus, he must try our limited edition Kraken, but I don't expect him to actually drink it. Um, Barry says, Jeff Bezos is deploying a rocket to your location now to get those groceries delivered. No, they're not. That, I would take the rock. I'd be happy if my groceries were delivered via rocket. And I was like, there's no way they can be delivered in the next hour. And they're like, no. I was like, okay, well, kind of needed those groceries in, in an hour from now because kind of using them to cook. Oh, well. And so I just got a refund, and I'll, I'm going to use what we have. And then, yeah, we'll just go with that. Um, yeah, because if they delivered it to, for me tomorrow, I don't. I can't use it tomorrow because we're doing a different recipe tomorrow. So, no point. Um, it is the best cut of beef in the animal, and it was 1.7 kilograms, so it's just about four pounds. Okay, so he is talking about a filet mignon. Okay. His dad used a full, a full filet mignon to make goulash, and uh, Mr. Ports is not sure how he feels about that. Yeah, It's either the sirloin or the tenderloin. Both are translated the same to Swedish. Okay, it, we call it the tenderloin here. Yes. The tenderloin is the filet mignon, and, and that's what we call it. Cookie Monster is the snickerdoodle. That's why we're doing it. What up, my moon and my stars? My moon and my stars. Uh, Jelly Belly says hi to Fung. Hi. Fung says hi. And our, our balor is so freaking good. Okay, so Mr. Ports says Robert should take a sip of the Kraken and vote yes. our balor. Okay. Do you want to do our balor? I mean, we're, we're like about to kill it. All right. We'll probably kill it. Would you like some ice? Yes. Ice herd. Are these? Uh, that's oh. a good pop for steaming. Yeah, oh, basket. do you want the basket? Yeah. I got the basket. I hide the basket. I need one. Two my Is it cute? You know, I thought, um, like, how often am I going to use this? Turns out a lot. <laughs> Look, see, I got the carrot top and some mushrooms. Nice. All right. Ice for the, we're going with scotch. I almost feel bad stealing my husband's scotch, but I, I don't feel bad. It's my scotch too. When you're married, you share everything, including your fancy scotch. Okay. This one's for Robert. Oh, yeah, we're definitely killing this. Gaffies. Uh, all right, yeah, all gone. I love how the supper crew is accustomed to the camera slash chat and interacts with us like it's no big deal. Less <laughs> than three. Thank you, Ziggy, for the bits. I think Robert and Fung are definitely the most comfortable on stream compared to the others. Most of the others hide on camera the whole time. I'm yeah. making shumai. And I forgot, you don't close these. Can you make a circle? I don't know how to hold those. You don't hold them. You just make a circle. You just stuff it. Like an okay. And then you put this thing on top and then stuff it. That's it? That's yeah. It. Oh. And then they're kind of, oh, they're a little bit of a pain because you don't hold them. So I'm like, ugly. So when I was making my 1,000 dumplings, I avoided shumai because it uses up more filling than any of the other it dumplings. It does use a lot. It's like yeah. basically a meatball. It is. Really pack it in there. Yeah. So I was like... I'm gonna do the ones where a lot of the space gets taken up with the pleats, just so that I don't have to do it all. Are you going for the wall? Me, yeah. Don't worry I'm about it. Long way back here. Like these are basically meatballs. They are. They are yeah. delicious Chinese meatballs. Um, Mr. Ports is not entirely happy about his father dicing up an entire freaking tenderloin. Yeah, that's kind of intense, and it's, that's that must have been the best goulash anyone's ever had. Roberto. Stop. This is for yours. Yeah, yeah. This is for me. We, we, we did kill it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers. 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 Ah, so ugly. Now I made a cone. <laughs> Arbal, arbalor. Arbalor, arbalor. Mm, yum, yum, yum. Yum, 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 yum. 
Uh, man, if they had a Cookie Monster version of a, a Sesame Street character, but it was Scotch, that would be a funny, funny monster. Uh, Jelly Belly says uh, they are Fung's number one fan Yay. and likes your name. I like your name too. Thanks. Pretty good name. Yeah, Fung is fun. Fung is fun. We should, that could be its own shirt. Fun. Some merch and some stickers that say Fung is fun. Uh, and then he managed to forget about it on the stove when he reheated it, so he burned it a bit. Oh. oh. Daddy burned the burned filet. The filet. That's pretty, that's that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. I did burn some baby back ribs today in the air fryer because I blindly followed a recipe. This is why I don't follow recipes. I blindly followed a recipe because I was in a rush today. And I, my instinct told me that that was too high of a temperature for too long, but I went with it. And it was in the air fryer. I got busy. I didn't even check on it. When it was all done and I pulled them out, it was only like four rack, like four pieces of baby back ribs. But when I went to pull them out, they were so burned, the dog wouldn't eat them. And I was like playing taps in my head. Luckily, it wasn't like a full rack of ribs, but I did burn the shit out of some uh, baby back ribs today and I cried a little. All the love to Aspie and Suki. Another reason why I'm never getting married. Oh, right, because the significant other will steal your scotch. Yes, this is <laughs> sacrifices you have to make, but you get head scratchies at night. Wait, are you talking about the fillet or the scotch? The scotch. Oh, well, yeah. Well, <laughs> the fillet was the death. But yeah, you do. You do have to share your scotch. I believe that is in most marriage vows. I think that's in there. But you get head scratchies and you get uh, back massages and um, someone to pick you up when you have to drop your car off at the place to get an oil change. These are all parts of marriage. It's really good. Someone to schedule your dentist and doctor appointments for you. King King, thank you so much. Thank you for four months, Resell. Let's go. And you kicked off the Cookie Monster alert, our first one of the night. We are celebrating Cookie Monster because it's Cookie Monster Day. So we're gonna make some Cookie Monster coconut macaroons along with some Count Bond Count curry and Oscar the Grouch goulash. The goulash and the coconut, the Count Bon Count curry, those are for the shelter. So we're gonna make a whole bunch of it and uh, save it for tomorrow. What up, Bloodhunder? How are you? Welcome in. My sister, of course, says Shumai is meatballs with a blanket. Oh, yes. <laughs> meatballs with a blanket. Meatballs with a blanket, heard. That was a pretty good one. Do, do what, did I miss? I think, um, Okay, and a few days ago, he tried to use my freaking flat iron steaks to make beef stew. He got an earful for that one. Okay, Mr. Ports, on that topic, my mom's in town as well. My mom put my fancy, fancy Japanese knives, she soaked them in a bowl of water overnight. Oh, no. I lost my shit the next day. Luckily, by some miracle, it didn't damage them. I think if she would have left them with like water or crap on them overnight, they would have rusted or they would have gotten like watermarks on them. But I think because they were completely submerged, I don't know how, but the handle looks a little darker on the one she fucked with. And the other two are my nicer knives as well. But my mom soaked my knives in a bowl of water overnight. I was freaking pissed. There was another, she did another thing in the kitchen where I was like, stop judging my shit. Yeah, my, mo my mom can't stand a mess and I can't stand things not being done a certain way. So I'll leave something messy so that I, when I have the time to clean it the way, like the proper way to clean it, then I will do it the proper way. But I'd rather not clean it than do it incorrectly or soak my cast irons in water over. She did that too. She soaked my cast irons overnight in water. And I was like, you're not supposed to do that. Anyways, yes. Parents should not be left unsupervised in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows that. What up, Retro? How are you? Hi, Blood Hunter. Welcome in as well. What day is today? Monday? Okay, so it's not Blood Hound Stream Day. Thank you, asked me for the shout out to Blood Hunter. I'll scratch my. It's not the same. It's, have you ever tried to scratch your own head versus getting a head scratch from someone else? Mm -hmm. It's not the same. It's not There's the same. a head scratcher. They, it, no? it doesn't work. I don't feel so if you do the head scratch, same thing, it's like a, a it works trick. On me. You can you can head scratch your own head with the head scratcher. With the head scratcher, yeah. Really? Yeah. I did the head scratcher on myself and it was not orgasmic. But if someone else does it to me and I can just like sit there and take it, then it's nice. But it, I can't trick myself. Yeah. Head scratches are the best. It's like one of the biggest perks of being in a relationship is head scratches. 
Or, you know that thing where you slept funny and the next morning you got like a little kink in your back or your shoulder and you just need someone to like dig in there and just get that one knot out, but you don't yeah. want to pay, you don't go pay 80 bucks to go get like a full massage just for them to work out that one bitch knot on your shoulder. If you're in a relationship, you don't have to be married, but if you're in a relationship or someone loves you very much, you can be like, right there, no, right there, up, up, right there, right there. And then you can do it. That's pretty oh, nice. Did you have a hole punch or actual steam picker? Yes. Give me a sec while I think about where I, I just saw my hole punch. No, I'm just gonna cut it. Cut slits. I have a what hole punch. What picture is that? Brown. I was like, un unbleached parchment. Oh. I was cleaning something and I was like, that's where my hole punch was. Where was that? I th think it's upstairs in the closet. I'll have to think about it for a second. Uh, what up, Seth? Yep, Malin is hunting for cookies. I couldn't think of a Sesame Street thing today. Uh, thank you for the shout out to Pinky. Do, 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 do. As we said, I made Dunkaroo dip today for a surprise to take my colleagues to work tomorrow. Uh, fun getting cake mix, French vanilla yogurt, and cool with, with extra sprinkles for garnish. That's a Dunkaroo dip, huh? I've never heard of that. That sounds uh, fun. I think it's perfect. That looks great. Well, more like a I think you will finish that faster than my figuring out where the hell I put it. I'm trying to remember, I just saw. Oh, you did them all? Yeah. Oh, never mind. You're super fast. I'm good. He's super fast. Uh, Retro went to the ER today just for peace of mind, uh, just making sure the back and shoulder pain wasn't linked to heart issues. We'll follow the doctor about back and pain uh, shoulder next week. Retro, good on you. Good on you. The, pe the peace of mind is the best thing. Yes. I had a very large ER bill last December um, for the same reason. I didn't think I was dying, but I kind of might have been. So I went and got it checked out, and they're like, we can see why you think you were dying or you thought you were dying. You are not dying. But you got you got some shit wrong with you. Go get it checked out. I was like, noted. Thank you. What's the wood thing you put in the water? Topaz, Robert. Explain hmm? what the wood thing in the water is. Oh, this is just a bamboo steamer basket. Is that technically Chinese? Yeah, it's Chinese. Mm, yeah. It's just it's like a lot of Asian. Yeah, it's just a bamboo basket with holes in it. So you just stick it on top of a pot full of water to steam things. Bamboo steamer. Yes, that's it. Mostly used for like dumplings, shumai, pretty much any sort of dim sum. Yeah, you can steam anything really. Yeah. You can steam vegetables. Which uh, side should I use it? Stuff? Both. Medium side. However you like. They both look good. I do, wait, if you put like carrots or something in here, wouldn't that stain it though? Mmm. Mm. Yeah, anything in a steamer basket? Yeah. Crab? You want to put crab in that? Uh, you can also make an egg. Egg thing, egg custard. You make egg custard in that? I wonder, what's the difference between this yeah, you just, you just, you and like put, the. You just put whatever egg the custard bowl. thing in a bowl and stick it in there and it'll steam. Does oh, it? like the, the, there's the metal kind of flowery open oh, yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you have that too. Yeah, that that's was. the normal one. That's yeah, the, that's the, the European one. That's, so this is normal to me. I'm, I think the Asian one is more normal. But yeah, then there's the European one. That's like metal. That one's easier to clean. That one I would trust with like seafood and stuff because you can really clean it. I don't Found know. It. That it's one. Thing. That thing, it looks like an alien UFO. That's also, can you make shumai in that? Probably. Yeah, we could. But these are stackable. That's true. That's why you like them. Yeah. yeah. Technically, you could stack these. No, you couldn't. No, if you got like a, a bowl or something here, you could stack them. It would just yeah. be very precarious. My grandma's. Uh, yeah, I don't know if that would. My work. grandma has like a giant one, and she cooks the like whole family or the temple, and it's like this big, and a mm -hmm. giant ass wok. Oh god. And uh, it's it is metal. It is metal. Your but grandma's is not. Yeah. Your grandma has a metal version of stacking one. Yeah. Ah, oh, I know what you're talking about. That's at dim sum too. The yeah. metal, the stainless steel one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I have some of those ones. But these smell really good when you heat it up for some mm. reason. I don't know why. The these wood? also feel like rustic and homey to me, like more, you know. Whereas the, the stainless steel ones make me think like restaurants. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is more grandma cooking. I like the grandma, but gr apparently your grandma cooks with the metal ones. Uh, what are we making today? Exclamation point menu. Uh, Robert's making pot stickers. Fung's making shumai. I'm making cookie monster coconut macaroons. 
Oscar the Grouch goulash, and Count Von Count curry. Hopefully we'll get through all of it. I don't know if we will get through my whole menu, but we'll get through theirs for sure. Did Alana eat today? Ooh, I'm sorry. Lana did not eat today, but I'm gonna keep the redemption turned off until after Fung and Robert are done because I don't wanna interrupt them. If we can have peace in the kitchen where we're not all tripping over each other, then that's better. So I will turn on the Lana redemption later. She did eat a lot today, but she has not yet eaten um, her Lana treat yet. She was so excited to see us. She Why lost. She's yeah. so excited to see us. She lost her shit when they got here. She was like whimpering. Why didn't you play with me? No she acts so with me. deprived. Now she, my brother was here yesterday, and yeah, the Lana is lying. Uh, I wouldn't say Fong Ho, but Fong, how would you say this? Fon, Fongo? Fongo, I'm going to say Fongo. Hi, Fongo, welcome in. Happy Tuesday, how are you? Mr. Ford says, I would have gone into aneurysm if someone soaked my good knives overnight. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I was livid. I almost interrupted her work call, like kicked down her door and screamed, but I waited until she was done with her work call. Tuesday, not Monday. You're right. I never know what day it is. What up, Blobby? Welcome in. Friends with really important fit important benefits like back rubs and head scratches. Yeah. If, if you don't have a significant other, get you a really important friend with benefits who will give you uh, head scratches, back rubs, and get that like one knot that's in your shoulder because you slept funny. That Sometimes that will kill me for weeks. Before uh, Malin and I were together, I, I'd sleep funny and I'd get one really, and then there'd be like, you, you build up a really good relationship sometimes with coworkers, and you find that one coworker where you're like, hey, not to be unprofessional, but like, I'm in so much pain. Can you just dig your knuckle in right, right there really hard and get that knot out? Thanks. Creepy? Too creepy? No? Robert, did you try your filling yet? No, it's okay. You guys are so okay. smart to test your filling before you do it. I made 1,000 dumplings and never once did that idea never? cross me. I never once thought it to. It tasted great. Never. I, I mean, I had one of every batch, I think. I would like set some off to the side, but I was making them blindly and just, I'm pretty sure this is a good, gonna taste good, but I never tried the filling of any of the dumplings I made while I was making them. Yeah. They are super smart because they're just popping them in the microwave yeah, to cook them. I them like 30 seconds, just a little tablespoon. Never crossed my mind once in the month of dumpling making that I did. I made 1,000 dumplings, did not test any. I mean, so I do a batch of like the shrimp and pork one, and then I would still be working through the fill, because I'd make like three giant mason jars of filling. And so I would fry up like the first 20 or so, I'd, I'd fry up one and try it. And then I just assumed that the rest of them, you know, taste the same. But no, I've never thought of the genius idea that they had to pop it in the microwave for 30 seconds so you can actually taste your filling before you make a couple hundred of them. That would have been <laughs> smart. I think you still have some of your dumplings here. I think a lot of people still have my dumplings in their freezer because I made 1,000 of them. And I thought, like, people were done with them, so I kept pawning off more on them, only to find out they had never made it through the first bag. Because you can fit about 100 pot stickers in one gallon size Ziploc bag. That's a lot. If you really shove them in there, you freeze them first on a baking sheet, right, so they can hold their own in a fight, and then you shove them all in a gallon size Ziploc bag, and you can fit about 100. The thing I like best when being in a relationship is when she draws little patterns on my skin with a fingernail. It's my favorite thing. Yeah, that's a nice one, too. That is a nice one. Blobby, you're welcome to have some dumpling things. My ER visit was 60K. Ew. Okay, but Bloodhounds was a serious ER. Like, that was not just a, hey, can you check something out? This was, hi, I was in a motorcycle accident. It's so expensive. I hope that was not out of pocket for you, Bloodhound. I hope your actual amount that you had to pay was significantly less. I don't know how much my, oh wait, I believe the average baby is about over $10,000 oh. to have a baby, but insurance will cover majority of that. I think out of pocket, it's usually like. Because they need people to have babies? Yeah, I think it's like, it's still like pretty expensive to have a baby, at least $2,000 to have a baby. Um, but it's cool if you have your baby in the beginning of the year, then you get your deductible and you're just like. Doesn't matter how long it takes you to have a baby? Yeah. The longer it takes you to have a baby, the more they charge you. And if you pop your baby out in record timing, you still got to pay full price. Mm. I know this because, Mom, I was in and out of the hospital with Lena in under 24 hours. That baby rocket launchered out in under two hours. I pushed for, like, five minutes. She shot right out. I still got charged the full price. 
for everything. It was like, they like charge us for aftercare. I was like, what aftercare? We popped her out and left. The doctor didn't even catch Lena. Malin caught Lena because the doctor was too slow and she rocket launched it out. Doctor didn't even have time to get to the hospital. So Malin and the nurses caught Lena. Yeah, that was hilarious. But they still charge us an arm and a leg for her, even though she like just came right back out. She's right out. Um, Retro will be right back. Blob is sitting on Suki's head. Topaz is all about the bamboo steamer. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I got it uh, for sh Humbau. Bow. Shout, not Shaolin Bao. Yeah, well, Shaolin Bao, too. Bao. I got it for Bao. All sorts of Japanese dumpling -y things. Bamboo steamer baskets is the best kitchen invention ever created. Mr. Ports, that is a very strong statement coming from you. Best kitchen invention ever? Better than the KitchenAid? Better than the air fryer? Those are the two. That was a pretty big statement. That is a pretty big. I mean, it is great. There's a lot of kitchen gadget, gadgets that I'm a big fan of. Maybe the coolest looking one. Jelly Belly, my friends do not live in Bellevue. Don't touch pants today, they're hot. Clad telling Blobby not to touch shit. Um, aw, Suki giving Blobby a cookie. That's nice. That is the menu today. Oh no, Blobby already touched hot pan today because dumbass has put a hot pan in the dish pit. That's not good. That's not good. It is National Deviled Eggs Day, so if we get to that, we're going to make Elmo egg salad, which will be a deviled egg salad. But that's at the very end of the uh, stream if we get through everything else. First priority is Supper Club. Second priority is uh, probably the Cookie Monster macaroons, because we got to go with the day. And then third will be the Shelter's goulash and curry. Uh, I would like to get a head start on those since we, you know, have to feed a whole 50 people on Thursday. We'd like to get a head start. Suki wants some deviled eggs now. Yeah, I usually love deviled eggs, but for some reason that's not, like, I'm not really craving it right now, but I'll still make it and eat it tomorrow. But we got all these stuff. Jelly Belly wants the name Fung. Yeah. No, we're not going to eat Lana today, we promise. Uh, what up, nudes? Welcome in. How are you? How's work today? Aw, Suki giving Bobby another cookie. Uh, Blobby says, my training accident cost 30K at the ER. What kind of accident happened in training that cost, oh my God, ER visits are ridiculous. That's why, didn't someone yesterday ask if they should go to the ER for something, something? Oh, I think it was like a, was it a COVID test? Something like that. We're like, no, 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 no. Don't go to the ER for that. Go to like a pharmacy. ER visits, doesn't matter what you go in for, um, here in the States at least. Doesn't matter if you go to the ER, it's going to be expensive. Very expensive. We've also had, um, like, most of our kids end up in the ER. Usually not for anything yeah. serious. But, oh, they're you know. so cute. Look at Robert's dumplings. Robert, his, dumplings. his dumplings are so much better than my dumplings. Lauren, Joey, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Happy Tuesday. Fun is showing off. Beautiful dumplings. Look at those yeah. crimps. Those, those are some beautiful crimps. Robert, do you have a record crimp that you can do? No, what? 13 crimps? 20 crimps? At, so um, crazy. what is it? What's his name? Uh, Din Tai right? Fung. Din Tai Fung, their Shaolong Bao has 20 pleats. Can I in do their Shaolong Bao? Can I do yeah, this? Mine is 12 crimp. 12 crimp? Yeah. Robert, can I think I my average now? is 9. Yeah, well, yeah. Can you help me? You're just, uh. It's hot. Yeah. Oh, I do. Do you want like choppy sticks? Mm -hmm. I got the yeah. long, long chopsticks. Huh. So they have to be spread apart. What up, MJ? How are you doing? Yeah. Welcome in, bundling bats. Uh, when my sister had her son, she was in labor for 34 hours, and she stayed at the hospital for three days. She paid a total of 97 dollars, 97 euros. Yeah. So your sister and I had similar labors. With Jace, I was in labor for 37 hours. I was in the hospital for three, four or five days, and I don't even remember that bill. I don't even want to think about what it was. I'm guessing it was put it in seven grand. Okay. I think Computer, set minutes. a timer for 10 minutes. Computer, set a timer for 10 minutes. She's weird now. You have to like turn and face her now. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. She's being oh, weird. No. That's weird. Yeah, everywhere else in the world, it's so much more affordable to have a baby. Here, it costs like two grand. Yeah. Damn, what story did I come into? I don't even know. No, don't even know. Blobby's eating all the cookies. All the love to Aspie. Well, there are four different bills. The ambulance, the ER, the CT, X-ray, doc views, and then the hospital itself. I only paid 250 per bill, so out of pocket was only 1K. 
Insurance took care of the rest. That is amazing. It was a 60K bill, and Bloodhound only had to pay 1K. That's, that's awesome. That's good. That's actually really good for all that stuff. Ambulance is another thing that's super expensive. ER, CTs, x-rays, yeah. Same with uh, babies. You get charged by the hospital. Then you get charged by the doctor. Then you get charged for the anesthesiologist. Then you get charged for um, the pediatric care that comes in, like, out of, they're, like, uh, separate pediatric facilities that work in conjunction with, like, it's very expensive. Yeah. I think we had Jace so late in the season, and because we have all the bills leading up to labor, because you got a lot of maternal care as well, I think we met our deductible by the time we had Jace, so it wasn't too much out of pocket or whatever like that, but yeah. America, super expensive to have, you know, anything bad happen to you. Needs more transparency on hospital prices. I think that will bring down the cost. Maybe. Maybe Topaz. Oh, now what up, Clean Kill? How are you? Did you get Mal and his Traeger or what? No, I still have it in the Amazon cart, but he has not. I haven't really seen Malin in the past couple days. He's been super busy. I think he's prepping for the extra live stream this weekend. Um, I, didn't, I didn't get to bug him yet, but I, I will show him. It's in the Amazon cart. Thank you for the reminder. I appreciate that. Robert, do you know what a Traeger versus an egg is with the smokers? Or do you have a smoker? No. The Traeger, like the smoker? Yeah. And then the egg? The egg is, I think it's the green egg or the egg. Malin's torn between which smoker to get. And I think chat picked the oh, Traeger. I, I didn't know the egg smoked. I thought the egg was just like a high heat barbecue. It's a smoker. Oh. Yeah. Uh... Egg is kind of cool because it looks like an egg and it's shiny. It is it's shiny. That's a pretty big deal for a smoker. Yeah. Yeah. They like more cool compact. colors. Yeah. Then the other ones yeah. are like this, right? Yeah. But I think Traeger is probably like more easier to use. And I think the Traeger is also way more affordable. Yeah. Way I think the egg is like two grand, whereas the Traeger was under a grand. Yeah. Yeah. I'm leaning towards the Traeger, like, but Mountain's torn between the two. So the. The Traeger, you can like set it and forget it, right? You just have to put the pellets, and then you set the temperature and the time. It'll just do everything for you. You just gotta put the meat in. How do you know this? Because he's a dude who wants to I think with the, egg, with the egg, I think you'll have to, I don't know. I haven't looked at it. It's charcoal, I think, and you have to constantly fill the yeah. charcoal. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That would be a lot of work. Trigger, well, one's trigger more is artsy, art, you know, artsy. Yeah, yeah and one, is skip, one is skipster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Artsy, and it saves you space. And one is foolproof. It stores yeah. this way, right? Yeah, and also the egg, I think because it uses charcoal, or the one Malin wants uses charcoal, it also, like, has more of that flavor. So one's fancier, shiny, and better flavor. The other one is easier, set it and forget it, and more affordable. I'm leaning towards the Traeger, but we'll see which one he ends up saying hello to. All the love. News is saying having a hard time staying awake. Well, thankfully, I only worked two days this week. Well, that's good. Seth is saying the Braves won. Congratulations to the Braves. Atlanta Braves. Atlanta? Okay. Uh, thank you, Lauren Joy, again for the follow. Jelly Belly wants some boba tea. Yeah, that Ooh, always sounds good. good. I got some Thai tea. We can technically make some Thai tea. We can make some Thai I'm tea. I'm not going to bed tonight. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I'm so having I a hard time going to bed. I go to bed at one, and I'm not supposed to go to bed at one. You should stop going to bed at one then. Yeah, but daylight savings is coming up, so it's fine. <laughs> oh, well, then that's just fine because daylight savings will save me. Um, but yeah, if you want to make the Thai tea, we have the Thai tea, and then I, we have the heavy whipping cream, and then I have Kathy friendly syrup so I can actually drink it. Ooh. That's why, because all the Thai teas that you get, the pre mixed yeah. stuff, they have tons of sugar and other crap in them, and I can't drink that. So I got just the straight Thai tea, and then we can steep it really strong, and then we can make Thai tea. Oh my good. Good. Which one of my favorite boba teas was the Thai tea with bubbles in it. I don't have boba though. Retro's back. Everyone's doing good. We're doing good as well. Thank you, Bundling Fats. We, uh, we're making shumai and dumplings, and then we're going to make a whole bunch of Sesame Street themed food. Fung, does your name mean anything? Uh, in Vietnamese, it could be in Phoenix. So she's Vietnamese, she's not Chinese. And it might mean Phoenix in communities. Uh, two grand is rather cheap for the states. Some of the stories I've read, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so for a regular labor and delivery, I think two grand is pretty good. Um, that's average. Mine was closer to seven. Oh. Yeah. Jace, with my five-day hospital stay and all the shit that happened, 
I went to like four doctors because that kid would not come out. Um, mine was, I think Jace was close to seven grand. Lena was a, actually a little under two grand because again, rocket launchered out, no time for drugs. Boom. She was like, we called her Amazon Prime Baby with the same day with delivery. Because I went into labor at uh, two in the morning and she was out by four in the morning. And then we were back home that evening. So yeah, like same, we kept joking, Amazon Prime, same day delivery baby. Oh wow. According to the internet, fung means abundance. I like that too. There you go. A phoenix with abundance. Thank you, Retro, for that. During a spar, and my training switched from sparring with me to legitimate fighting, he did illegal knees while I was on the ground and illegal elbow. He eventually put me in an arm arm. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Blobby. That sounds painful. Uh, Blobby was in a sparring match, and the dude did illegal moves and ripped his arm out of his socket. Oh. So that was a really big how rude. That's how rude. Yeah. I do Taekwondo. I'm a brown belt. Nice. Congratulations, nice. Jelly Belly's brown belt. Uh, my mom's got a bamboo steamer she received 17 years ago. Still wrapped in the plastic, and every year she says, this is the year I'll use it, and she doesn't cook. Lol, I swear I'm going to bury it with her. <laughs> I know it's funny, but an awful thing to say. No, I think that's funny. Yeah. One of these days. One. Aspie, can you use it? Like, if your mom doesn't really cook or anything, maybe you should break it out and bust it out for her. Make her some dumplings. Here, if you're married out of wedlock, you have to pay extra than married couples. <gasps> what? In Singapore? <gasps> if you have a baby out of wedlock, you have to pay extra? Just find a dude and name him the father. Oh, no, but you need a marriage certificate, a marriage license to prove it, I'm sure. Pat, learn something today. What? Okay. Man, if they did that in the U.S. I know, right? <laughs> I would say a lot of our babies are out of wedlock here. I don't know the actual statistic, but it's not uncommon. Yeah, that's crazy news. Thanks for the world trivia. I would have never known that. Mr. Port says to go with Green Egg. Oh, it was a training partner. I got you, Bobby. That sucks. Yeah. Uh, I love sparring because it gets my heart racing and takes very personal when someone takes a shot at me. Yeah, it's not good. It's not good. Though, when I did kendo, it was super, super rare for anyone to ever do an illegal hit. Sometimes people did sloppy hits, and you got a lot of weird bruises on your body. Remember that time, Robert, in high school, or was it middle school, people thought I had hickeys because I had all the bruises on my neck? I don't remember that. I, so, when you do kendo, they, there's a move called skeet where they take the bamboo sword and they thrust it at your neck. There's a guard right here, and you're supposed to catch. You're supposed to catch it. It does jerk your head a bit, but you don't really get hurt. But if they do the shot bad or t don't time it when there's a clean shot available or they they lack the skill, they'll stab your neck with the sword, right? And then you get these little heart or these little star shaped bruises all over your neck. So I had just gotten my black belt. No, I was one degree away from my black belt, and so we were allowed to start practicing ski shots. So we we would just do like. 10 per side and then 10 per side. So you ski them and they ski you. And, or sometimes you're in the middle of a sparring match and it gets really heated and they, they think they got a clean shot and they just go for it. Oh yeah, so one time I just had all these like little circle star bruises all over my neck and it looked like hickeys. And I, was, I had to have been in high school because I think it would have been more embarrassing of a story if it was in middle school. But mm -hmm. sometime in high school, must have been freshman year, I had all these bruises on my neck. And I had to explain that. To, and when I was like, oh, it's from Kendo, they're like, mm-hmm, Kendo. It's from Kendo. Yeah, it was from Kendo. I used to spar um, when I still did Kung Fu. I'd have, like, these bruises all over my arms or my legs because we don't have armor. Yeah. Was free handed And my friends would be like, what's Robert doing to y'all? <laughs> <laughs> show up home, show up. It's like summertime. I'm wearing a dress. I'm, like, bruised. What, yeah. Me? I didn't do anything. Robert, Robert, Robert didn't do anything. Nothing. I would sometimes, even though we wore armor, people missed a lot. And you would just get like all these bruises down your sides where they, like they would get armpit shots because there's like something called the do, which is the middle hard part. They'd miss it and you just get all these lovely bruises. Computer. Pupper, is it Computer, done? Computer, off. What's the safety? Safety. Is that what's done? Computer. Mm -hmm. I'm going to burn uh, myself a steam. Just don't stick your head in it. 
But yeah, I it was it's oh and then sometimes after practice we would like you know the girls would go to the dressing room we'd all like take off our clothes and change into our street clothes but as we're like changing uh-huh. up you would just see all the bruises and we're like oh get some and we like compare bruises it was, oh it's terrible but it's really funny as well. Um, the illegal elbow was a down six to twelve. That's terrible, Blobby. Uh, but those are rules, so you get disqualified. That's true. Uh, a streamer I use, oh, a streamer I watch uses a trigger among the other girls. Yeah, Retro, are you talking about Cook with Kate and Sammy? So Cook with Kate and Sammy, I believe, have both, and Sammy really, really passionately loves his uh, green egg, which is part of the reason why I wanted to get the green egg because you know if Sammy says it's great, you know it's great because everything's. Kate and Sammy say is good, like legit good. Um, but we also heard really good things about the triggers. So we're kind of torn in between. I'm going to let Malin choose because he's the one who's going to use it the most. Why does it have to be that one with the burnt chip in the bag that looks like an, I don't know. Why don't does know. there have to be that one burnt, oh, that one burnt chip in a bag that looks like an old rat turd. What kind of, what kind of chips are you eating, Goose? You mean like regular potato chips? I find that the extra crunchy chip is usually the best chip. Is that supposed to be part of the manufacturing process? Yes, Goose, it is. How's it looking, Bubber? What I'm saying is because it's not a chip. Probably. I think it needs longer. Nope, Fung is not Filipino. She is Vietnamese. Uh, And Robert's Cambodian, and I'm half Korean, and Jenny's Korean, Crystal's Chinese. And Kim is Vietnamese, and Mike's Vietnamese too, or is Mike half? Vietnamese. He's Vietnamese. Okay. Win is half. Wait, is One of half. us. Hi, hubbies. Look, our friends are making shumai and pot stickers. Shumai. And today is National Cookie Monster Day. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I just broke his little bomber. <laughs> no, you <laughs> shove it back in. It worked. Just shove it back in. Don't uh, worry. There are legally owned amounts of Trump rat parts in service. certain many. There are legally allowed a certain amount of rat oh, parts. What is this? Is this Demolition Man? Did you guys ever see Demolition Man where he eats a rat burger? It's pretty funny. Yeah. I asked him. Are you done? Are you sure it's hot? Yeah. It's us. Temperature. What's the temperature supposed to be? Oh, I wonder what the logic on that rule is. Time to Google. Now. Google. Okay, what do you do now? Aspie's going to swipe it from her you kitchen to learn to use it. Yeah. Do it, Aspie. Swipe it. Swipe it. Swipe it. No swiping. One more. Ask gonna steal her mom's bamboo steamer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a great idea. One more, laugh. one more, one more. Oh, Hold you want more water? Uh, I didn't water. expect the reactions, but yeah, I kind of just like that rule. In America, that's crazy. I'm gonna tell Malin about it. Did you know in Singapore, yeah. couples out of wedlock have to pay more for labor and delivery? Obviously. 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 Oh, Uber noobs in chat. You heard all that. I see you now, honey. Someone, someone killed your your scotch. It's all gone. The Arbelar Belar. Oh. It only had this much in it. We that helped was, you. That was from my last day. I know, and you drank 90% of it. We just helped you finish off the end. <laughs> You're welcome. Mm-hmm. You should bring out one of the nice rums, or we can just use one of these ones. Why is the rum all gone? Why is the rum gone? I just stopped doing full contact sparring because I'd escalate if someone fouled me. And then I'd hit them harder and harder each time they did an illegal move. Yeah, Mr. Ports, you and my husband sound like you have a lot in common with your tempers. Mm-hmm. When Malin's on the soccer field and someone does uh, an illegal move, then he usually... What do you always say? What's your line where, like, they start it? And, like, if they're gonna... I don't know how I used to get it. Yeah. I, somebody's gotta check them. Yeah, check them. If check they're gonna start doing something, he's like, no, I'm gonna check them. And if they wanna blah, 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 then I'll... Blah, 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 blah. For a nice even number. Thank you. You want to do it? Three dollar and six cent donut for the kids. Signifying my 306 stream. That's oh. Awesome. Also brings a total for extra life in the AFK kitchens portion of the Good Cause Crusaders up to one thousand eight hundred and two dollars and seven cents. Woo! Let's go. For the kids. For the kids. Hyper. Thank you so much. The donuts supporting sick kids or a local children's Seattle Children's Hospital, which is a part of the Miracle Network, which is what Extra Life benefits. Thanks for hanging out with Wifey and throwing down that meaningful 
nice even number dono signifying wifey's 306 streak. Thank you, Hyper. Appreciate you. Um, I still read, always check your chip bag. Never know what you'll be hiding. Wish, uh, <laughs> wish it was treasure, not rat turd. Fair enough. Nope, rat turd. So when I stopped doing martial arts altogether, I was only doing grappling sparring and no striking sparring at all. There you go. Uber Noob said, I had to stop sparring because I wasn't part of any martial arts groups. <laughs> we sparred one time, didn't we? Yes. You did a whole bunch of cheap shots. Cause sure, I, I didn't mean to smoke you. I smoked you. You didn't smoke me. In the f yeah, you bashed me senselessly with a bamboo stick yeah. and did all illegal moves. Is it called like a, what is it called? What? What's the Kendo? The kendo Shanai thing called. Shanai? Okay. Mm. What's the Kendo Shanai thing called? It's called the Shanai. Yeah. Uh, hard to Uber Noob. Love your face. Miss you. Oh, he'll be on Appreciate soon. you, Asprey. What day are you going live? Is it Thursday or Friday? I'm going to attempt my, what I'm calling my annual 48-hour attempted stream. <laughs> attempted 48-hour stream. It'll probably be Friday oh, at either awesome. 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. Malin's going Malin. live on Friday. And he's going more to do sauce? 48 hours. No, it's good. Uh, thank you. Yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, that is, uh, oh, it's Montana Max Barbecue that does the trigger. Oh, chat picked out your trigger for you. Oh, trigger. I think yeah. you said trigger. Trigger. Like, all right. <laughs> and what, a trigger. No, which, but, which one? Which one needs a new trigger? <laughs> uh, the trigger, they picked out the pellet one. And I put it in the Amazon card for you to I look at. Yeah. So I'll let him know that Chad picked out our smoker and it's in our Amazon cart right now. I'm hot. Love your face, Uber Noob. Yeah, regular. Do you actually stream? Yes, my husband streams sauce? once a year. Does he need more sauce? Once a year he streams for 48 hours straight or attempts to do delicious. a 48 hour stream. Oh, thank you. And he'll be doing that starting Friday. Why well, put that in your mouth? Mouth hurt, did you dip it for me? Nope. Did he give me sauce? Oh, this hot sauce. Good lord. Mm. That's good. Alright, I gotta try some of this hot sauce. I got lots. I burned my dumplings. More. More to come. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, you're almost done. Mm -hmm. What? Oh. Basket. Mm -hmm. It's like three baskets. I still have a lot mm -hmm. Are you frying yours or steaming yours? I'm gonna fry mine. At first I thought pork and shrimp was such a weird two types of proteins to have a baby, but it's one of the best for sure. It's Mal Capone! Red rum, red rum. He is back, Goose. That's right. What up, Mel? And everyone giving you all Mel the love. Capone. Simple that. That was your I name. Did, I did rock that for uh, the Halloween party. Yeah. Yep. He was Mel Capone on. What Mate's in the house. What up, fam? Mate, you want some cornbread? I made some cornbread. Ain't nothing wrong. With, wait, is there multiple layers here? Oh, There's uh, two layers, but have gotcha. more. We have lots. Mm. Robert made a. Robert's not even through, like, <laughs> look at how much prettier his dumplings are than my dumplings. I need to learn from Robert how to make proper dumplings. Suki says, hi, Melon. Computer. After three days of having a I kind of want some dumplings and soup. Ooh, yeah, that sounds good. Seven minutes. Starting now. 